and welcome back to another hacking tutorial from Stealth Data Zero. In this video, we're going to use the same tool that we've been using uh, to use another custom Python script um, that I'm going to uh, that I'm going to drop a video exactly how to code, but it's um, a little bit more simple than the one I previously shown you. Um, all you have to do is code it and save it as a .py file and then follow these steps and you'll be able to make a fully undetectable payload. Um, so here is the script, which we already have opened. And if you just wanna pause it and code this script, just make sure you use your IP address here, um, your internal IP address, use port 443, Everything is um, tagged um, with the comments. These are tabs, not spaces. Always make sure you use tab. And you find your internal IP address by typing ifconfig. Use your public IP address if you're doing it remotely and use port forwarding. And I explain all that in that video on how to create this. And the link will be in the description. So we're going to take this Python backdoor, move it to our encrypt folder, and now we are going to encrypt this file using nxcrypt and gain a shell on a uh, fully patched Windows 10 device, Windows Defender on. And of course, um, you could put antivirus on and test this on antivirus on uh, the no distribute test. Uh, it came up clean on everything. Please do not upload these payloads to virus total. This is the syntax needed. So it's tac tac file, so the file name that you want to encrypt. And I show you how to install nxcrypt in my nxcrypt video. Um, link also in the description. Now this is going to output the encrypted file named encryptedtest.py. I'm going to add a one to it. I'm going to move this to our Apache server. Other locations, uh, computer, var, www, and then HTML. And then you can simply reach that by typing your internal IP address, the same IP address we find here with ifconfig, or using your public IP address and port forwarding port um, 80. And you can also port forward with using ngrock or servernet, something like that. And then again, you want to think about making websites to host, which is here, what I have here, um, I can just switch the code to make it download any of these payloads um, from a website. And you can clone websites and do all kinds of cool things. So we're going to go to the target machine, open up the browser. But before we we want to start our Netcat listener. So it's basically a netcat server listening for our payload and c tech and vlp on port 443 the port we use when making the payload
and you can now see we can issue Windows commands. And again, this would work on any OS. Um, Python just has to be installed on Windows, but it works on Mac, Linux, Unix, um, all by default because those run Python by default. So this will work on any OS. You just need to use the terminal commands of the OS um, that the uh, shell is gained on. So this is how you make another fully undetectable payload in Python. Here is the code. Go ahead and code it yourself or check out the video that describes how to code it in detail. But all you have to do is write it the exact same way um, and then save it as a .python file, so .py, and um, follow the same steps. Now, if you want to learn what ex exactly you're coding, check out that video because I explain it, but these comments explain it, and this is how you can learn shell code, and this is how you can really bypass antivirus. Coding your own payloads is how you bypass antivirus. Um, that's just the way it is. Relying on tools um, makes you a script kitty. Um, in a sense, tools are what every pen tester uses, but they can also code their own scripts. They also code their own tools, and that's where these tools come from. That's why you need to learn coding, um, and it will take your hacking to the next level by far. So hopefully you found the video informative. If you did, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe for more content, and as always, have fun. Stay safe, keep hacking, peace out.